We've had a lot of people pass away, a lot of people get ill, a lot of people still in hospital. Nick Lee with the Rafiki Coalition for Health and Wellness is working to reduce health inequities in San Francisco's black community. The community is on high alert. Mayor London Breed says 28 percent of San Franciscans who were hospitalized with COVID last week were African American, despite being only 5 percent of the city's population. And now this week, Nick says there's been a 40 percent increase in testing at their Bayview site. But he he says turnout is not the same for vaccines. Getting you to come get tested is one step. Getting you to get vaccinated is another. Getting you to get your second dose has become its own barrier in self, whether it's because of the side effects from the first test or a lot of individuals just feel like they're already vaccinated. They feel like all they need is one shot and they're good to go. But that's not the case. In fact, a newly published study out of Stanford quantifies just how important the second mRNA vaccine dose is when it comes to fighting off COVID. What we know about the second shot is that there is a 100 fold greater innate response compared to the response after the initial immunization. Dr. Bali Bulendran, a Stanford microbiology and immunology professor, is one of the authors of the study. Why does the immune response ramp up so much after the second shot? When you get the second dose of the mRNA vaccine, your immune cells have remembered its previous encounter with that very same vaccine. As in anything, practice makes perfect. Uh, if you have a second piano lesson, you become a better piano player. Uh, so it's exactly like that. Rafiki Coalition is hoping to share that message in community. We will be roaming the streets with nurses and RNs offering vaccinations to people right where they are. Nick expects that program to launch in the next two weeks. Kate Larson, ABC 7 News.